You really want to start the story from the beginning? Too bad. Wrong choice. You really... You asked for it. There are moments when life does not forgive. She looks you straight in the eyes and she slams you to the ground with a jab on the mug. Sometimes you have the strength to get up. Other times, you just want to forget. Like when you're forced to say goodbye to an old pal. Poor Mackenzie. He was always ready to offer me a drink. After what happened to him, I'll have another drink in his honor. There was a time when I only needed six good reasons to clean up the whole city. Tonight, instead, the only thing I'll be cleaning up is this glass. Or two. Or three. Or four. Come back when you have the money. My hero, do you want- Candy Bob, I barely disposed of the sticky junk you gave me earlier. Yeah, I always think. How to get rid of you. So, will you accept my unteenth fudgy offer? Only if you don't chase after me armed with a candy cane this time. Did you know that globby globby reflect my love for you? When they get sticky on you, they will never come off. The same goes for you, Candy. I hate this city. I hate this neighborhood. The only place I can find solace is... My office! There's a stranger in my office, and he seems to be dangerous. I have to show him who's in charge. Maybe I can use one of my inventory items on him. I really hope all this seems logical. Oh, good evening! You're finally here! Your cactus was making me feel uncomfortable, M -m -m Mr. Gallo. Detective. Detective Gallo. I I I'll tell you everything if you stop b -b 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 pointing that gun at me. Do you think that's easy with all this sticky sugar on my hands? Uh, my name's Phil Chloro. Uh, I was waiting for you. Give me a good reason not to shoot you. <laughs> All my beloved m -m -m majestic plants, they were absolutely p -p 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 perfect and a second later butchered. <laughs> How beautiful they were. Your c -c cactus in comparison. My cactus is none of your business. <laughs> I hope you don't think all this will be free. Uh, no, of course not. I work night and day. Nothing scares me. I'm ready to take any kind of risk in this dark and dangerous city. But every hero has his price, and this hero prefers cash in advance. You are a true pro 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 professional. Rule number one of Gallo. Be competent, critical, and careful. The famous three C's of Gallo. Uh, sure, uh, here's a generous advance. Uh, the c c crime scene is at 8 Rhododendron Road. I'll wait for your arrival. I'll come with the speed of the law, slow and unrelenting. A rich and kind person, but completely out of his mind. We've got to go. Duty calls, Thorn. But first, I need to lock my office. Ah, if I remember correctly, the key is hidden behind your cardboard cutout. You've got to be even sharper than the prickly pear. Nobody will ever try to test my patience. Or my revolver.
I'm once again master of my own office. Now I can leave. Ah, nothing is comparable to the stench of my office. I hate the smell of this. I can click twice on the red arrow when I want to hurry, which is most of the time. Done. I've locked the door. I'm always a man of my word to myself. Hello? Hey, Gallo. I'm your informant. I know who you are. I'd recognize your voice in a thousand. Information of the day. The armored truck will pass by tonight, disguised as a florist's van. I pay you to tell me useful things, not to waste my time. You don't pay me at all, but I'm doing this for professional ethics. Crime doesn't wait. I'll call you back as soon as possible. Pain in the ass. I must get to the crime scene in 8 Rhododendron Road. Or my name isn't Gallo anymore. Yes? I'm Detective Gallo. You came earlier than expected. I hate people who are bigger sticklers than me. There must be at least one important clue. I have to find it. My treasures c killed without mercy. You must find the killer and make him pay. Uh, with your experience and p p professionalism, you'll surely succeed. Don't you worry, Mr. Chloro. Thorn, don't you detect a strange, pungent odor as well? Are you talking to your cactus? <laughs> <laughs> the culprit must be very smart. And now you congratulate a c crazy killer? I value work well done. In such cases, I can count on my gallo sets. I just need to press the space bar, whatever it means. I must remember that I can click on the icon of the notebook to consult the actual goal at any time. And to read your suggestions, Thorn. I wonder why I always do this out loud. <laughs> Damn. You c c can't move it! To take the shell casing from under the sofa, I will need something very long. <laughs> Why? Why should I take unidentified evidence with me? And now, who am I going to t t talk to on those endless afternoons? May I? If you need, need it for the investigation. <laughs> <laughs> and now, who am I going to t t talk to on those endless afternoons? <laughs> Easy breezy. <laughs> Here's a useful clue. There's something written on it. That's too small to read it. What a disgrace! Well, I'm done here. For now. Already done? Have you found who the killer is? You won't believe it. But... No. Not yet. See you soon, Detective Gallo. You're a true professional. find out what's written on the shell casing, so I'll have a lead to follow. Hi, Gallo. How's it going? Same as usual. The city keeps claiming innocent victims. Vegetables this time. Damn. 
listen. I have to enlarge the writing on a shell casing. You could use my microscope. Okay. Will you loan it to me? I lent it to you years ago and you still keep it in your safe. It's like I've lost it forever. Rule number 17 of Gallo. Don't throw... Don't throw... Damn. What was rule number 17? Good luck, Gallo. He's actually making me feel sleepy. In your line of work, you see many faces. Questionable or not, I suppose. I'm interested in who's not. He's actually... Listen. So, did you decide? I'd like something very sweet. The candied chocolate meringue is the sweetest sweet I have. I really advise against it. Listen to me. I'm not sure I'd like it. So try the triumph of the five sugars, a specialty of the house. Wouldn't it be too sweet? Yes. No. I'm not sure. I need to think about it a little more. To take the microscope, I need to input the combination numbers, which I don't remember. I wrote them down in three notes I hid in the office. I'm really a secrecy genius. It had best collect dust in my pocket. Here's the first number of the combination. And what a shame really gave the book a certain sophistication. And me, at least it seemed like I would started to read it. I should admit, I don't know how to use it, but I prefer to say I don't like using it. Here's the advantage of never locking anything. Lose time filing paperwork? I'm a bird of action. Rule number 304 of Gallo. If you have to collect something, start with your ideas. Oh, I can't do that. It would make the crack on the wall even more visible. Here, now the number is visible. I'll take only one. Actions like this are more stupid than usual. If the world goes round, it's not because of brain snaps like this. It'd be a good idea if it did. I don't understand where I get such ideas. I sh but I prefer. I don't understand.
Rule number 303 of Gallo. Collect even what you don't know the use for. Except for grandfather clocks. Rule number... Since yesterday, there's been a heavy smell in the office, but I can't open it. Why should I? Take back what I expelled? No thanks. Especially since I haven't got a bathroom in my office. No. First I need to find all three numbers of the combination. Once I read that trying random actions makes you dumber for the rest of your life. It doesn't turn off. It's a continuous consumption model. Every time I want to turn off the light, I have to contact the electric company. My dear old and how many... Rule number 304 of Gallo. I hate the catchphrase commercials. Why should I? They're old and blunt. I don't take second-rate stuff. I hate the catch. It's an idiotic action, and I am not an idiot. No. If I mailed it like this, I would end up sticking the envelope to the mailbox. Why should I? It's an idiotic action, and I... Other suggestions are accepted. Not now. I have things to do. Rule number three. Actions like this. Literally the only. The second number of the combination. Gotcha. The combination was 358. Just like the number of my soft cases. Logical. Natural. Easy to remember. Now I can open the safe. Child's play. Rule number 100 of Gallo. If you don't remember something, remember a way to remember it. No, it gives my safe a purpose. There's something written on it. Veg 68. But what does it mean? The plot thickens. But I'm sure that by following this lead, I'll find the murderer. At least, so they say in the movies. Hi, Gallo. How's it going? What can you tell me about the Veg 68 shell casing? Is it from an anti-vegetable weapon? I don't know. But you could find out by talking to the city's alternative arms smuggler. You'll recognize him because he will greet you back 
after you say the secret passphrase. And that would be? Usually it's written on the plasma membership card. Membership card of what? Privileged License Armed Smugglers Association. To become an associate, you have to send your photo by mail. You will receive your card with a secret passphrase by fax. Damn bureaucracy. I'll find that smuggler, and I'll bring him to justice. Assuming that he's really smuggling anti-vegetables weapons. I'll bring him to justice in any case. Rule number 111 of Gallo. If you don't have a green thumb, at least be trigger happy. Oh yes, I almost forgot. The secret passphrase is written in glowing ink, so it's visible only in the dark. When you give me this kind of information, I'd pay you double. Too kind. To get out of my face. I have to show the smuggler card with the secret passphrase around to find out who fired the bullet. Lose time? F I shouldn't, but I prefer... Rule number 88 of Gallo. Don't use what you don't know how to use. Take back what I expelled? Nothing. No, I'm too attached to it. No. Is it just me, or am I not the owner of my actions anymore? the world goes round, it's not because of brain snaps like this. Why should I? I don't want to put it back. I hate the catchphrase commercials. I must have something to send, and someone to send something to. Maybe I can use it to paint the bathroom when I have one. Just thinking about it makes I only have sweet precisely lonely. I'll try that only when I don't have anything else better to do. It doesn't turn off. It's a continuous consumption model. Every time I want to turn off the light, I have to contact the electric company. Eddie and Son Courtesy Service. How can I help you? Stop being so annoyingly kind. Hi, Gallo. How's it going? How's the business of selling information going? With this crisis, everybody wants to save money. So I make up some lies. Sure return and no waste of time. Obviously not in your case. What can you tell me about the Veg 68 shell casing? Is it from an anti-vegetable weapon? I don't know. 
But you could find out by talking to the city's alternative arms smuggler. You'll recognize him because he will greet you back after you say the secret passphrase. And that would be? Usually it's written on the plasma membership card. Membership card of what? Privileged License Armed Smugglers Association. To become an associate, you have to send your photo by mail. You'll receive your card with a secret passphrase by fax. Damn bureaucracy. I'll find that smuggler, and I'll bring him to justice. Assuming that he's really smuggling anti-vegetables weapons. I'll bring him to justice in any case. Rule number 100. Oh yes, the secret passphrase is written in glowing ink, so it's visible only in the dark. When you give me this kind of information to, to get out of my... Maybe I forgot. Good luck. After what happened, I want to stay away from it. To make it work, I should insert a coin, or use other methods. Thanks. Now I can really express my artistic talent. Wait, I'm having second thoughts. I don't do nothing for nothing. I'm not feeling magnanimous. I find really cynical to drink other people's tears. Good evening, are you? The best stocked wholesaler in the city, precisely. Do you really have everything for everybody? Or is that just a publicity stunt? It's pure marketing. It works, don't you think? Goodbye. Say hello to your cactus. I still don't have a sense of the macabre. I absolutely don't want it. No, that item is not for sale. Why not? It's the only item belonging to my personal collection. That bat belonged to John Gallo. My namesake, even. Excuse me, I'd like... To buy everything in here without paying cash. Don't worry. We give credit to those who have a generous advance, like yours. But how did you... I have a nose for my clients' needs. It's a matter of professionalism and experience. It seems soft and handy. And with high-quality bristles, perfect for every type of paint. Rule number 56 of Gallo. Better bristle up your crest than wear fake hair. This fork and knife set belong to Jean Pelet, the famous French chef. Why? 
Hello, little one. Being a tad taller doesn't entitle you to train me like a fool. Do you know any dealers in this area? I don't know if I can trust you. Of course you can, fresh-faced boy. Not until you tell me the secret passphrase of the arms smugglers. Hey, show some respect. I'm sorry, but this world is made of little cliques, nepotism, and cronyism. We'll meet again. I hope not. No, I'd put the city into chaos. <sighs> no. There's a reason I don't even use the chair in my office. <laughs>